Hey friends, check out this enemy placement. Oh. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Great! Welcome to games we never played. This game we've actually played a little bit before. Oops. My name's Joe. My name's Edward. We're returning to Maui Mallard because in the episode of Games We Never Played where we played Maui Mallard before, we had a comment from someone named Hadoken Gad and he said, It's a shame you guys didn't play Maui Mallard till the second level so you could show the viewer how he transforms into a ninja and you can go back and forth between forms. So we're trying to do just that right now. This is actually the third stage in the game, so maybe he meant like the second world? I don't know how the level structure of this game is structured to use structure twice in the same sentence, but hopefully we'll get to see this cool ninja transformation <laughs> mechanic. Collision, what is it? What is it? Yeah, I guess the collision, I guess the, the hitbox might be the same for enemies hitting you as well as grabbing items in this game. A lot of the times the grabbing items collision is much more forgiving than the enemy collision in a game, but maybe they're both the same thing in this game. All I can say is, what is this? The ninja thing better be amazing. Because you played this last time. That seemed fair. <laughs> <laughs> didn't it, though? Didn't, didn't you feel like that's our fault? Okay. There so, seems to be a lot of what look, we, what we like to call him. on Game Soup fair go. enemy placement. <laughs> <in this game. laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a great study of uh, terrible enemy design placement. These these totems <sighs> shoot arrows at you periodically as well. And they're very tiny. Also, these controls might be the clunkiest I've ever played. And yeah, I played Castlevania. It's, it's a big part of it is the turning around. The jumping's yeah. also a bit clunky. That ridiculous animation that takes a bunch of frames. Just you're stuck in place. One thing that's that we didn't notice the last time we played though was that when you pick up these power up beetles, there's some um, some of the the only ones the ones we've seen so far have been the fire Get and the electric here. ones. Yeah, these guys just keep infinitely spawning. I guess you just gotta keep moving. I'll tell them about the fire beetles. You yeah. keep going. So you get you can get fire beetles and electric beetles, right? And I guess the fire one does more damage and the electric one does like a triple shot. Oh my God. But you can combine them, like in Gunstar Heroes. And I haven't seen that mechanic a whole lot in in a lot of games. And what that does is what we've seen so far is combining the fire and the electric is it gives you a tracking shot which is kind of neat i do like that that type of that type of shot mechanic that type of uh weapon mechanic in games because i'm a huge fan of gunstar it's one of my favorite games of all time all right here we go and is to see it in, in another game as as uh, as good as this one is as good as this one well you know i'm not gonna call it good yet at least they tried. So far, so far I'm gonna say the graphics are amazing, the animation is good. Pretty good, yeah. But the the gameplay so far does suffer. Maybe when you turn into a ninja, it turns into a different game though. So <laughs> I hope. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah, collision and controls are my biggest problems here. They're both unbelievably bad. Also, this is gonna be kind of a special episode of games we never played. I think we're gonna make it a little bit longer than our usual ones. Our usual ones, our usual games we've never played episodes. It's gonna be a little bit out of continuity. We usually record these months or weeks ahead of when they go out and put them up when we don't have anything else to put out, but I think we're gonna put this one out earlier. We are. Just because we're returning to, to Maui Mallard. Oh yeah, but how long has it been since we posted that? Actually, you can check if you want. If you care, I don't really care. It I, doesn't really matter. It's, it's been, been a, while, a couple weeks, I think. Since we posted that one? Yeah. It's been longer than that. Or maybe it? a month? I don't know. I don't but know. by the time this goes out, it's probably been a month and a half. Maybe a month since we put out the last Maui Mallet episode, but who really cares? Yeah. I would like this one to go out, though, sooner. It will, sir. So that, it will. So that if Hadoken Gad is still watching, he can see that we we pay attention to our viewers and yeah. our oh. comments section, and sometimes we take suggestions from the comments. So if you guys have any suggestions for GS, leave them in the comments. Oh, just, what is... Ghost? Just don't be rude about it. So long. Constructive criticism is always appreciated on GS. Okay, if you hold that, if you duck and... Wait, it's not working now. Before, when I was ducking and pressing jump, it makes you launch forward. That's really weird. Okay, never mind. Anyway, this game is complete tripe, as we say in the uh, the good old British colonies. Wait, Whoa, that not... guy was serving beetles. He sure was. Beetles are the theme of this game. He also had a demon possessing him. Maybe that's part of the theme of the game, the cold shadow. Who's the Cold Shadow? Um, possibly Maui Mallard, but he might be fighting against the Cold Shadow. We don't really know much about the story of this game because we don't pay attention very much here on GS. Oh, come on! Oh. Except to the gameplay of games. Oh, cool pipes. Cool pipes, bro. One-way pipes. All right. Oh, okay. We gotta get that. We're not doing too hot here. That gives you some health, though. You got 95 health now. Good. So we're really anxious to see how this ninja... 
this ninja swapping mechanic works. I love that animation, it's really great. It's really great. Very smooth animation. I looked at the sprite sheet for, for Maui, oh, yeah? our main character in this game. When I was making the title card, I was looking for oh sprite God. sheets or just any kind of artwork I can use. So that's what I wound up using was a sprite. But it was huge. Not bad. Very, very large sprite sheet. He does a lot of different stuff, and there's a lot of frames to many of the animations. Come here. Come Looks here. like you got to climb up that chain there. Yeah, from here. Cool. So I think you're gonna have to time this. Oh, he's oh, okay. he's coming for you. Oh, you can't jump up the chain. It looks like. Come here. Why did he make that? Does dumb he track? Face? He doesn't no. track you. Actually, that's to your advantage. Yeah. He just gets pissed off and. Good. So that's kind of nice. But it's not a cheap shot. At least it's not sign behavior. No! I didn't want to do that. Okay, this game automatically does things for you sometimes. Like when you walk by a bookcase, that's oh, on a giant staircase. organ here. Oh, yeah. What? It's the same animation as when you kill one of those butler fellas. Oh, cool. This is kind of cool. I mean, yeah, I'm can... enjoying it. <laughs> You're rem... enjoying it? Well, I'm enjoying watching it. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Toe Jam Manual Panic on Funkatron. Remember those bouncy sponges? Except yeah. this is a little bit... This is actually a little bit smoother control, what? it looks, than that. What? Actually... Because that was... That control on those was a little bit... Actually, Bad. the control in Toe Jam Manual Panic on, Fun... Panic on Funkatron, I'm going to have to admit, is a bit clunky. Is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're right, but I don't think it's as bad as this, actually. Unless you're on those bouncy things. Those sponges. Whatever they are. Yeah. It was fun, though. You Come had on. that mini game where you had to do tricks and stuff. Yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. I'm a huge oh, fan of Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron, because I have fond memories of playing it when I was a small boy. A small boy. Why did that happen? Just now. Alright. Sure. I won't question it. It's a game that I would consider playing on GS as an LP. But there's a lot of parts on it where you can get lost. Ed and I played it a few years back together. We played through it. It's kind of a long game, Just on too, the right? couch. It's not, it's not that long. It's maybe five or six hours, I think, if you, if you kind of know what you're doing. Which I've beaten it a bunch of times over the years. And oh, you can God. also use a walkthrough if you get lost. But generally, you don't really need it. Where's this ninja thing? I was promised ninjas! We're looking for ninjas here. Maybe we missed it. This I... might be the first boss, though. We might be yeah. entering the second stage coming up here. You're oh, right. you got a one up there. Cool. A golden duck's head. We also noticed that when we fell in the water, he <laughs> was injured, so... Just like most ducks. Yeah. Here we go. I have a feeling we're gonna see the dark shadow coming up here. Bonus one. All right. Uh, you might be able to jump on these clouds. That's my guess. <laughs> what if that was it? It's, the bonus is just, you just you run to look to the at end. the scenery. Yeah. Okay, you can jump on the clouds. Cool. And your time. Yeah, it's a little bit like, a little bit like Dynamite Heady. It's kind of, kind of like a theater. Uh, theater. Theater. I think you want to, yeah. I think you want to go all up and around. This is probably a vertical stage. Now, can you jump on that? I don't know, because I imagine jump on. that you can. Oh, indeed. Oh, I really like that the stars fly out of there. Oh, you're gonna one up. I wonder if we have to get to the top of something. Come on. I like when things explode into other things. You like that? Yeah, like particle effects and stuff. I like it when statues explode it's kinda into kind of saddest. <laughs> That's a reference to uh, nothing. Yet. That anyone would know. Yeah, nothing that anybody would know, but someday, someday Should you'll I know. Should I tell them what it's about? Yeah, yeah, we're, you tell them. Yeah. We are working on a game. It's not, it might not be a... Might never a come release out. title or anything, but we're, Ed and I are working on a goofy game together where you break items, and one of the items that you break is a statue, and our, our <sighs> placement, our, our filler item, our placeholder item is, uh, is this picture of the statue of David, and when you shoot it, it explodes into dicks. <laughs> <laughs> More than one, for some reason. Yeah. Which I love. Okay. Oh, God. I'm making this look uh, like I'm re re like so. I'm really dumb. It's a lot harder than it looks. Maybe we'll post some footage of that game. Yeah, maybe we should. But I don't know if we'll be able to post the footage of the dicks. <laughs> Look, I made it. Yeah, it's, but it is dude, art, it's, though. It's the yeah. Statue of David, so I probably won't get taken down off of YouTube. Wait, are you kidding? I think you're going to fall all the way to the bottom, but your stage is almost over here. Oh, 11 God. 11 seconds. I want to kill myself now. 10 seconds. 9 seconds. Yeah, we'll, we'll show some footage from that. In the, actually, we should just make a devlog for it, shouldn't we? Yeah, we can do that. If, if we're going to work on it. 
Yeah, we'll make there'll be some devlogs coming up in the next few weeks to a month or so maybe. Password not attained? You telling me that was for to get a password? I guess so. So my punishment is I don't get to uh you don't, restart. That's, that's I brutal. don't really like the design of that. Yeah, that's only negative for the player. That's horrible. If you're gonna have a variable like that, you wanna try and have it be positive for the have have it, if the player fails, then you want it to be neutral, and if the player succeeds, you want it to be a positive, rather than have it be this. In this case, it's actually negative if you if you fail, and uh, neutral if you, basically you should just get a password <laughs> yeah. for getting to the next area. Oh look, come here. I gotta say, uh, Hadoken Gad, the fact that you managed to play through this game and get this far with these controls and this gameplay, I'm really impressed. How we? How do we get those those yin yangs? Maybe you have to be a ninja. Yeah, I assume that. Uh, come on, I'm, su I'm assuming that. Press all the buttons. Oh, hello. Here we go. This has got to be it. Turn me into yes. a ninja. This is what we're here for. Perfect. Wait, we're not. Okay, we're not taking hits, are we? What is going on? I'm not sure. He turned us into a ninja multiple times. He sure did. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Oh, okay, so cool. you have 150 yin yangs. Of course. I wonder if that's a separate health bar then. It's like Kid Chameleon. So the health bar is on the left side. No, I think that's maybe, maybe that's the ninja health bar. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same health. It's the same health. The hundred on the left is your health, but on the right Give me. was your ammo before. Oh, you're right. So, so what? I don't. I don't know how you. Uh... Oh, you get a that. melee attack though. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe maybe you only lose yin yangs if you hit the if you hit a guy. Let's oh. let's keep going with this and see. Oh my God! You lose ten? For real? Uh, yeah. Every time you hit a guy, it looks like you lose ten, but they oh, drop. Oh, fifteen. Twenty-five actually. Oh, was it? Yeah, oh, you got twenty-five. Okay. So, so you just got to keep collecting those yin yangs. The controls have not changed, unfortunately. Can we... Collision! So this guy's sneaking around and he doesn't seem phased from being beaten with a stick. He doesn't mind, I guess. Yeah, I guess he had a troublesome childhood where he was beaten with a stick. Oh. Uh, this is where we were, right? This is where we started. Yeah, this is back to the beginning. Is there anything... Wait, oh, oh, did that. you see that? Nope. Not getting that one. No, no. That I'm pretty sure that the collision for the the enemies and the power ups is the same. Both seems that way. Bad. Well, both. It's forgiving for the enemies, I think, and not forgiving for getting items. Where are we going here? Okay, we figured it out. There is an ability that we didn't know how to use. Here it is. Oh, cool. You can use the stick to stick it into the eye of one of these. Smiley faces. Smiley faces? Actually, they don't look that happy. Oh, they look like ducks. Maybe they they're duck faces. I yeah, guess. This game is about ducks, so I guess. It's about beetles and ducks. Yeah, beetles. And they have things that clearly go together. Okay. That enemy was just right there. I love that. Yeah, some of the... I bet there's an enemy right at the bottom. I bet those yin yangs just lead you down onto something spiky. No. Okay. Oh, they just take us to the other side, which is cool. Okay. <laughs> 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 Infinitely spawning too. This game never has never failed to amaze me with its huh. surprise attacks. It's going to regale you. What? Oh, this is pretty neat. I do like this kind of thing. Yeah, but we're not we a ninja. Walk wall, fuck and yeah. We can't, we can't run or jump or any. Oh, that's it. It was just that. Okay. Oh, well, that was not nearly as entertaining as I was hoping it to be. Oh, no. it's not like the parting gears of war where you get in those those silverbacks. Which are, they're these giant ro- they're not giant robots, but they're like robot machines and you, you just destroy everyone when you get in them. It's very fun. Or what other game uses that kind of a mechanic where you get it? Um, Mega Man X uses it. You can steal the, the enemies, the enemies mechs and use them against them and you're pretty much unstoppable except for when you dash into a pit, which I used to do that sometimes. When I got the mechs in Mega Man X. Anybody else remember that? Post it in the comments. <laughs> God. Desperate for comments here on GS. We sure are. It's our favorite thing in the world. Yeah, it's the only intention that we get in our lives. Come here. There we go. Uh, what? Oh, I see. Man, the collision is so messed up for this game. Yeah, it's weird. The 
land, the platforms are weird, and the, <gasps> the enemies are weird, the, the power-ups are weird, the animation is really nice, though. Oh, that's a pig? Oh. Alright, I guess it is. Should we keep going, Joe, or have you seen enough? I guess we should. I mean, I think, let's maybe try to beat this stage. Alright, I think if, we can do it. This is going to be a little bit longer of an episode, like we said. Jesus, this guy's wrecking us! He so wrecked us! We can, we can afford to spend more than... Normally we spend like three to five minutes on these games when we do these episodes. Here's what I'm thinking. Because we have attention deficit disabilities. We're just going to turn into regular Don... What? Oh, you that pit wasn't there before, that's just... Uh, I think that block fell away. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that block yeah, falls away. It. It's slightly discolored and then it crumbles rapidly. Immediately. Cool. And that's cool. It does re it reappear? Why is that there? Yeah. Why is it even there? Maybe it's to teach you that it's gonna happen later, but I don't think so. No. Okay. Have we have we seen this before? Are so bad. I think you can only hurt these guys with your bow. Uh, well, this is a game over then. They seem to be bouncing off of you. If we get a game over, I guess we're done. Yeah, because you can't. Doesn't seem like you can hit these guys with bullets. No. They don't seem to be weak to beetles. A way that they could have made, they could have done a better design job of that would be to have that platform be raised, so it's not just uh, butt up against the bottom of the screen. So you can't even. You might not even be able to tell exactly how you died if yeah. you're not really paying attention to the very bottom of the, the screen. But if you if you saw it crumble under you and you fell down onto a safe platform, that's the way that you would would introduce that concept to a player in a better way. We talked about that. Oh, no. I think it's very similar examples on GS before, but it bears repeating. Oh no. I can't get up there. Alright. This is... I think you gotta kill this asshole. You gotta do this. Oh, or you can just swing it. Yeah, you don't have to kill him. Alright, cool. Is this a platform? It looks like a platform, sort of, but it's not. Just keep going left. Ah! <laughs> okay. Maybe this time we'll get to do something fun with this, with this giant bot. God. Get out of here! Oh, they're real assholes. Collision. What is it? Dot com. Okay, here we go. Alright, I have a feeling this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> uh, slowly... Wall. They're telling us a story? No, it's just the same picture over and over again. And they're telling it to us in reverse anyway, even if they were. There's oh, a... we're gonna fall through this platform? No. Why would we fall through... Why would that be in the game? <laughs> well, I guess there are a lot of things so far that we are asking why would it be in the game. I wish there was a way to go faster than this. This reminds me of Kid Clown in a way. That's another game that had great graphics and art style and... Oh. Just We're... the gameplay suffered. We're still going. Here we go. Wait, what? Can you jump? Not that I'm aware of. You might be, you might be able to jump if you go into the, the middle here. It looked like you moved up. A lot there. Maybe it's just my eyes. I really wish you didn't walk so. Oh slow. yeah, when you turn, when you change direction, what? it does. It kind of like does a little hop. Yeah, go to the right. I'm just. I don't oh, maybe cl climb up here. Yeah, yeah no, you I'm just, just not get sure. out of it to get that shit. Yeah. I don't know why it just spit us out for no reason. Oh, it spit you out without you didn't do it. Without no, no, it just happened. Oh. Oh. Maybe you're out of gas. Because I. Well, no, no, I was. Mm. What? We discovered a new uh, ability. How did we do that? And could we do it again? No, we just can't. That can't be replicated. Press up. Press up when you get up there. Hmm. Oh my god, these controls. Ninjas. Uh, Alright. Can we... Yeah, I don't think playing as Maui Mallard instead of Ninja Mallard is going to be the answer here. No. I feel like we're supposed to break through that. But... But... You, can, you can't get back in the... The mech, the giant thing. Unless one of our buttons is not assigned, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure all our buttons are correct. Hmm. There's a Hearthstone logo for an ear. Does he? He sure does. This is, uh, not great. Not great. Yeah, turn, turn to the nin It's gotta be the ninja. It's gotta be that thing where you held onto the side. We did see an enemy do it earlier, so I guess maybe we're to assume that we can do it as well, since we have a staff. Let's just show these guys the Y button here. Yeah, we figured it out. That uh, when we did this before, it turns out it's the Y button on the SNES, which does nothing else up to this point. But you can uh, you can do this, which is kind of cool. And that's it. Great game. Let's trade blows. No. 
Man. I'm dead. Oh, they yes. Yes. Well, it's not my favorite game. That's all I have to say about it. What's this? Oh. Oh, you passed it. Okay, well, we got to see what a ninja can do. Not much, apparently. You're kidding. We can't turn into a ninja anymore. We have to get it again, it looks like. Or maybe because we don't have enough yin-yangs. How many did we need? I guess maybe you start off with zero, then. Oh, yeah, you probably just start off with zero. Cool. Okay, so... That's not too bad. Oh, yeah, it forces you... That's not terrible design right there. I mean, it forces you to explore that part up there to get the, the yin-yang so that you have to get them, and you can't get up here without being the ninja. That's it's not, okay. It's fine. It's not my favorite. DJ Boy! Here we go! DJ By Kaneko. By Kaneko. Press, All right. Press that start button. Let's see. Oh, Jesus Christ. Our controls are messed up. No, no, they're not. Pause. Let, let's just see how they are. Let's see All how right. our controls are. Oh, no, no, they're, they're fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we have jump, kick, and punch. All right. What a cool game. This is a beat-em-up, Joe. This is your kind of game. <laughs> you beat up a fat boy I on did. a roller skate. I did. That's what he got. That's what he deserves. Look at that cone going wild. So, a small disclaimer. I played this game. My next-door neighbor had this game when I was a child. When I was, like, you know, eight maybe eight or nine and he owned this game we played it a lot i don't think we ever beat it though because if i remember correctly it's a hard game i don't know if i've played this so like, yeah this is this is sort of a lie though yes as ed has played it before yeah and ed is the one playing it so technically yes. we're breaking the rules of games we've never played we've done that before though no we haven't <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. We're not going to make that a... GS, full of lies. Wow, that guy was a dick. Yeah, I know. Those guys really kick you right in the dick. I don't, I don't want to just... Uh, I don't want to eventually have games we never played just be games that we've played. But I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll turn into that. This is just one of those uh, exceptions. I guess, you know? Eventually, we're going to have played every one of the games, though. I don't every know. One the, every one of the old games. Maybe. We're going to move on to Sega CD. But Oof. we've played a lot of those, too. Yeah, not on the channel, though. Not on the channel, but we can pretend we haven't played a lot of Sega CD games. I actually haven't played most of them, I think. Although it didn't have a very big library, right? Is she throwing dynamite it's, at us? It was not tiny. It wasn't a small library, but it wasn't huge. Compared to, like, Genesis, Super Nintendo, and the PlayStation or NES. Did Sega CD get Snatcher? That was... Yes. Yeah, it's probably, in my opinion, Snatcher is the best Sega CD game. You thought this was a Naked Man. Yep, oh, I was wrong. I was thinking of a different game, I think. Cooking Mama. There is a game, a, a Sega Genesis game, where the first boss is a Naked Man. Game over! Look! Look where we are! If you know which game is the Sega Genesis game with the Naked Man as the first boss, leave it in the comments and we'll play it on the next G's we've never played. Well, probably not the next one, but we'll eventually play it. See you guys.